Richard King, who scored the victory over Hunter James in the first round, must now contend with a late entrant into the tournament, Jack Cartwheel. You never know who you're gonna face in the next round of a tournament, but Richard King came prepared. He came to Vegas to take the throne here. And he wants to leave as the first ever Future Legends Tournament or winner. And his opponent, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Sacramento, California. He is El Nino Maravilla, Jack Hartwheel! No stranger to FSW, Jack Cartwheel returns tonight. Late entrance to the tournament, a four-year pro. Made his FSW debut in the 2021 Limitless Tournament. But since then, his star has been on the rise. Incredible performance, incredible showings. He has competed in the Battle of Los Angeles and had standout matches with Commander, Brian Cage, Jordan Oliver, and Kanoska Takeshka. You know, King, we saw this man earlier on in the evening, and he showcased exactly what he has against his opponent. He showcased it to this crowd. However, Jack Cartwheel, he's a different type of cat. He's a different beast, if you will. And I, I, I got to be honest, I'm not sure if Richard King is taking Jack Cartwheel, Cartwheel seriously enough. Not to the level you should. You never underestimate a man like Jack Cartwheel. A man who has already had, built up a ton of experience, competed in PWG, GCW, AEW, and toured internationally with Gleet in Japan and AAA in Mexico. And in this era, the last couple of years, it's hard to get international bookings because of the way the world's been cut off. But because of the talent of Jack Hartwheel, those promotions still wanted him. Collar and elbow here. And the key thing to keep in mind is this can work against you, it can work for you. King has already competed. So he's fre he's not fresh, but he's loose. He's already got the blood flowing. I was just going to say the blood's a pumping here tonight in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Richard King, he has that in full force. But elephant in the room here, I I'm sure it's not something I need to address, but I will anyway. Jack Cartwheel, the fresher man in this matchup. Cartwheel is going to have a lot more energy. Might have a lot more spunk, a lot more pop to those shots, if you will. And he will. Jack Cartwheel, you know, as great as Richard King is, Jack Cartwheel has seen the world already as a professional. He's learned different styles. He's competed in, I don't know if you heard the list I ran down of men he's competed against. It's a who's who. Oh, man, what a boot. And the speed and flexibility of Cartwheel, who trained in gymnastics most of his life. And it's not shocking when you look at a man like Cartwheel and you see what he can do inside the ring. And you even hear the namesake to hear that he had a gymnastics background. He's incredible inside that ring. Yeah, his grandfather invented that. He's not Jack Roundoff, Cartwheel. The Russian judges give it a 10. Oh my God. Oh my. Split out, brain damage, and now Cartwheel's in trouble. Yeah, that might be a tide turner right there. And he clutched the leg and he hits the Falcon Arrow. We saw him try to hit that in the first round. Unsuccessful then, but successful there. The strategy for Richard King here, it's got to be to put Jack Cartwheel away as quick as humanly possible. That's going to be a tough task to do, especially against a man the likes of Cartwheel. You know, it's almost impossible to put him away. Putting him away quickly is a problem. It is there's no answer to that. Uh, but remember, it only takes three seconds or a tap of the hand. Here's the thing. These matches can be decided by pinfall, submission, disqualification, disqualification or count out. They're on the outside now. And if he can get cartwheel to the floor, he might be able to get a count out win if he wanted to. These two men are, are brawling all around the ring. We're back into it now. The cover once again, King to count. And not, not so much for a respect issue, but for a arrogance issue. 
to show that he's the best, to show he belongs in that four-way final coming up tonight. I think King wants the pinfall or submission victory. Just to show he's that damn good. And that single arm suplex sends Cartwheel to the, to the apron now. You know, Richard King, he is a man of Egyptian descent, has the confidence of a pharaoh. We talked about the God complex earlier on. What are we seeing here? Incredible uh -oh. athleticism from Cartwheel. Jack Stan, elbow! Everything that Cartwheel does is done with such fluidity. It is so impressive and hard to match. I feel like he's an updated version of what you saw from Rob Van Dam in the past with the flexibility and aerial skills. But if Richard King is on his game tonight, it doesn't matter how great it is when Cartwheel goes to the sky, how flexible he is, Richard King is going to win this match. The Adonis has all the confidence in the world in his abilities. We'll call that Richard Cartwa. See, that's that arrogance issue. Yeah, he didn't manage to put Cartwheel away yet, but Cartwheel's got to watch out for that patented Widow's Whale Crucifix Canadian Destroyer. Maneuver which Richard King utilized to put his opponent away earlier on in the evening and even advanced to the second, the second round, the semifinals. It's so dangerous because when you crisscross your legs like that, it, it wrenches the neck and then dropping them down a destroyer, there's no kicking out after he hits a move like that. Absolutely, a lot to be analyzed with the Willow's Whale maneuver. Cartwheel not into analyzation right now. He's into punishment. He's into cartwheels. Evasive. Cartwheel driver into the cover, hooking the inner leg. Seamlessly went into that cover too. I gotta tell you, I think Cartwheel would have had the job done right there if he could have applied a little bit more pressure on the upper shoulders, but have been able to put Richard King down, but right now King's stirring. It's been a long time since Jack's been here. Over a year, about a year and a half, and the fans have not forgotten just how great he is. Richard King doing his best to try and forget how great Cartwheel is. Sherman holds on. Looks like he's gonna try to go locomotion style. Nope, goes right to a Rainmaker. And gets a two out of it. Look at this go. Richard King thought that was gonna get him the victory. A lot of confidence here from Richard King. Big strikes on strikes from Jack Cartwheel. Look at this, look at the intensity pick up. Little bit of extra behind each one of those shots in the previous one. Jeez. Oh, look at that, King grabs him by the scruff of the neck. Nowhere for Cartwheel to go, but he breaks it. Hits the pump kick, sends King down, and now is the time for Jack to follow up and finish him. Cartwheel trying to bring the fire. Oh, Exploder suplex just popping him up over the head. So dangerous, the angle you land on when you're sent in the buckles like this, and this is where Jack Cartwheel is dangerous. He's already wrestled one match. He might be suffering a severe neck injury now. Shooting star. Beautiful. Got him. This match is over.